What's up everybody, this is Yair and today we are going to drill Luffy from One Piece. Okay, so what do we got here? We got an A sized for paper and a perfect square. Each side is 5 cm. And as you can tell, I added another line to keep the right proportions of the eyes. So first I'm gonna draw his jaw. Then I'm gonna draw his eyes that kinda looks like squashed circles. Draw his pupil slightly to the right side. And we'll do the same for the right side too. Add his eyebrows by drawing two curvy lines. The famous scar below the eye. Then I'm gonna draw the nose which kinda looks like a rhombus. And the light will come from the left side so the shadow area will be on the right. Now we're gonna give him that big smile. And add a curvy line to indicate his teeth. Okay, so because his face facing up, we're gonna draw his ears below. If you want, you can use a roller to keep the right proportions of the ears. Okay, once we're done with that, I'm gonna use this guideline to help me draw the hair later. I'm gonna draw his neck now. And draw a big circle to indicate his head. Okay, and now we can draw the hair. So first I'm gonna start with the spikes on his face. Then I'm gonna add the rest of the spikes. Now we are going to refine his head by adding a lot of random lines. Awesome and we are pretty much done here so we can go on and draw the torso. So first I'm gonna start by drawing the shape of his torso. Then I'm gonna add his vest. color bones and the chest. Also now I can refine his vest by adding creases. I'm gonna refine his arms by giving a small bump to the shoulder. Now I'm gonna add more creases and of course his button. Awesome, and we are done. All we have to do now is inking. Okay, so I'll start by using a black pen, 0.1. And what you want to do for the inking process is rotate the page so you can have your natural hand movement. That way it's a lot more comfortable to ink. Don't forget to try and keep your hand steady. And the thing about inking, the more you practice, the more you feel more confident. And that way your lines will come up better.
awesome once we are done with that I'm gonna use the charcoal eraser to get rid of all the lead and then I'm gonna use the eraser stick for the stubborn parts and make sure to do a fine job erasing the lead cause you don't want the lead to smear all over your page okay once it's all clean and shiny we can go on and use the Copic markers so I'm gonna use Copic markers Chow if you don't know those are alcohol based markers which means they can blend very good I'm gonna leave a link in the description box showing the exact number of Copics I'll be using and other materials as well okay so first I'm gonna start by using E00 as the brightest color then I'm gonna use the main color E51 and the darker tone will be E21 now I'm gonna do the same process for the neck, the chest and his left arm Okay, and now I'm gonna add an even darker color. Once we are done with that, we can go on and color the vest. So I'm gonna use three tones for the vest. I'll start with the brightest color, R05. Then I'm gonna use R27 and basically cover the entire area. And for the shadow areas I'm gonna use R59. Awesome, now we can blend it using R27 again. Okay, and now I'm gonna color the button on his vest. I'll start with Y00, then I'll use Y08, and the darkest color will be Y28. And if you want, you can use the colorless blender to blend it even more. Awesome, once we are done with that, we can go on and color his face. So just like we did before, I'm gonna start with the brightest color, which will be E51. Then I'm gonna use a darker tone, E21, for the shadow areas. I'm gonna blend it using E55 again. And now we can color his famous hat. So for his hat I'm gonna use three colors as well. I'll start with Y11 and because it's a circle I'm gonna rotate the page so I can have more comfort doing it. Okay now for the second color I'm gonna use Y17 and basically cover the remaining area.
and the darkest color will be YR23. Awesome, once we are done with that, we can go on and color the hair. So first I'm gonna start by coloring the edges of the spikes. I'll use the black pen and the reason I do it is because those edges are really thin so I don't want to mess up. Awesome and it looks good, so now we can go on and use the black marker. Once we are done with that, we can color the gums. I'm gonna use R27. Awesome, all we have to do now is add a little bit of shadow to the left ear. And I'm gonna use C1 to add shadow to his teeth. And we are done everybody! Look at that! This is how you draw Luffy from One Piece. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial everybody. If you want to see more tutorials every week, please give me a thumbs up, share this video with your bros. Also let me know what you think down below in the comment section. Make sure to check out my recent tutorials. Keep being awesome and I'll see you on the next video. Peace!